And now on to our dinosaur of the day, Anseromimus, which was a request from Dinosaur 4602, so thanks. It was an ornithomimid theropod that lived in the late Cretaceous in what is now Mongolia, and the genus name means goose mimic. It was named in 1988 by Rinchen Barsbold, and Anser is the generic name for some species of geese. The type and only species is Anseromimus planinicus. So this dinosaur doesn't particularly look like a goose, but other ornithomimosaurs have been named after other birds, so that was kind of the thinking here. It's sort of maybe kind of goose-like. Ornithomimosaurs are generally sort of like ostrichy, yep. so they got that kind of goosish neck to them. <laughs> true, true. <laughs> the species name means flat claw, and that refers to its flattened claws. Who'd have thunk it? <laughs> there's only one specimen, which is a pretty complete articulated skeleton, but there's no skull or lower jaws. It was found in the Gobi Desert in the 1970s on a joint Soviet-Mongolian expedition, and is estimated to be about 9.8 feet or 3 meters long and weigh 110 pounds or 50 kilograms. It was possibly an omnivore, and it probably looked similar to other ornithomimids, but with more powerful forelimbs. It had these very long, powerful forelimbs. Oh, that's cool. You don't usually think about that with ornithomimids. Yeah. Or geese. <laughs> <laughs> so it also had large crests on the upper arm bones, and that was to attach to large arm muscles, like biceps. And it had long, straight, with a slight curve claws on the hand that were pretty flat on the lower surface. It's unclear why it had such powerful arms, but it's possible that they used them to gather food. The skull we haven't found, so it's not clear what it ate. But Anseromimus was lanky and fast. The five bones between the wrist and fingers, the metacarpus, were fused, and that also added to its strength. Also, the foot was arctometatarsalian, which means that the middle metatarsal is compressed and is behind the other two metatarsals at the top, which may have helped it with running. Anseromimus probably lived around streams and river channels and mudflats and shallow lakes. Other dinosaurs that lived at the same time and place included Gallimimus, Tarbosaurus, Dinochirus, and smaller Dromaeosaurids, Ovaraptorosaurs, Troodontids, and birds, as well as Hadrosaurids like Barsboldia and Sauralophus, and Ankylosaurids like Tarchia, and some Titanosaurs and Pachycephalosaurs. It's a busy ecosystem. Mm hmm. For those of you who listen to our Dinosaur of the Day segment and you like it, please consider becoming a patron. We take new Dinosaur of the Day requests from our patrons and offer a bunch of other perks as well. So check out our page at patreon.com slash I know dino or click the link on the left. <laughs> 